What's up everyone, G624 here, and today I'm showing you another Power Armor mod, and along with it I'm showing you the location, of course. Uh, this armor is called the Liberty, the Liberty Power Armor by VI Sabertooth IV. And in order to get this Power Armor, you must travel through the waste into the glowing sea and go to the Sentinel site. And within the Sentinel site, is the power armor. I can't remember exactly where it is, so we all get the fun adventure of looking for it together in here. I think it might be in here, actually. Maybe? You're not gonna open the blast door? Ah, oh, right, 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 right. You gotta keep going down. Oh, you know what? I think it's on the bot in the basement, though. Dead guy, hello. Farewell, dead guy. Do do. -do. Avoid the launch. I think it is down here. Down. By the nuke. I want to say. Excuse me, get out of my way. What's in here? Random dead guy, hello. Maybe in here. Oh, hello. Get out of my way, please. Phew! <coughs> ah, excuse me. Hello, random idiot, Savante. I want to say it's down here somewhere, but I can't remember where exactly it is. Oh. That's not bad. But we gotta find the power armor. Um, hmm. Now, I th originally thought I might make the video of me walking here just so you know exactly where it is in the glowing sea. But then I realized this was going to take like a long time if I did that because it's already taking a long time because I don't know where I'm going to find the power armor. Aha! I found it. This is the Liberty Power Armor. Based off of Liberty Prime, obviously. Well, actually, technically, to make it lore-friendly, this is the prototype for Liberty Prime to see if America could fight the Red Chinese back. But then, after realizing that Liberty, the Liberty Power Armor would not be enough, they um, decided to make Liberty Prime. Unless the next bloke we run into is armed with a can opener, I'd say we're good to go. But yeah, this armor actually looks really nice. Playing games and come out where I can see ya. Oh, hello. But yeah, I mean, it's a really nice looking power armor. I don't see any flaws with it. It looks clean. It looks well put together. I like the design on the back. The spot where the fusion core goes, right above it. It looks real nice. I know it is based off of Liberty Prime, but even then, uh, it's really fucking good. And another thing, also, this armor, if you like the power armor, or even if you don't, and but you just want another power armor suit, this mod, it's only three megabytes. Ah, shit. What's nearby? What the hell's nearby? It's you? Son of a bitch. Come on. Boop. 
There we go. Get riggedy riggedy wrecked, son. Alright, so now I don't think there's that many enemies nearby. But now, let's go into the customizations options for this armor. That's why I'm going back to Sanctuary. Version. I still don't know what I'm actually calling it, but... I don't know. I'll leave what you want down below uh, for the name of this building. And uh, I might start calling it that. That's your question of the day. I can't think of an actual name for my base, for my place where I conduct experiments and show off my mod showcases, at least if I don't have to go out and get the armor or get the item in question. If I can just build it in the comfort of my home, we have the Lab of Immersion, or whatever I will start calling it. Yeah, 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 distress signal lost, no big deal. I like how the headlamp is right in the eyes. That's just a nice touch for me. So let's see the customization of this bad boy. As you also can see, we got all of our mod power armors here also. I haven't gone over... Or have I gone over these two? Maybe I have. I don't remember. And if I haven't, uh, you guys will make sure to comment down below probably. Well, let's get working on this. The Liberty Prime... It can be fully customized to Model F. Uh, it can be painted, but I don't think the paint actually shows up. And it uses the same mechanics as the T-45. And the only reason I know that is because it has the Minuteman paint on it. So let me just paint one arm real quick, and let me see if it popped up. Or if it stayed the same color. Okay, so it cannot be painted. Well, I mean, you can add the effects of paint, but it won't fully go through. Which is perfectly fine. Because this power armor is strong enough as is. Yeah, this power armor is real fucking strong. And if you need, like, bonuses... There are no headlamps to it, which is fine. But yeah. Uh, that's about it for the uh, Liberty Prime Power Armor. Hello, Kate. For the Liberty Prime Power Armor. There isn't really too much to add to it in this case. But what we can do in this situation. Excuse me, Batgirl. We're moving moved over here. And this is also being moved. We're all just going to move over a little bit. Got to move all these arms. I like how the hair moves also. That's a nice touch. Whatever. I'm, that's good enough. Uh, decorations. Display. Power armor. So can I lock it in? Can I lock it into place? What is the issue here? I'm hitting something, but I don't know what. So we'll go like that. And this armor will join the Power Armor Wall of Fame. And then, uh, while I'm doing this, if you're new to my channel and you like this content, uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, I've been your host, Jesus624. Oh wait, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you like, if you like this content, well, I, I, besides the like and the subscribe thing anyways, if you like this content and like any of these mods, uh, there are plenty more mods on my channel. I have done about 17 of these now. So... We're about half a month in with these. But anyways, I've been your host, Jesus 64 And look at this new power armor we have, ladies and gentlemen. That is five power armor mods. 
and this one was only three megabytes. That's amazing. But anyways, farewell everyone.